Hello boys and girls, welcome back to CM Lunch Break. I'm so excited to be here with you. As you can tell, I'm getting in the Easter spirit. I hope you guys are too. This week we've been talking about Jesus coming in, riding on a donkey and having palm leaves laid down. And then on Wednesday, we talked about a special meal that Jesus had with his disciples. Today we're gonna talk about Jesus dying on the cross. Now that may sound like a really sad story, but I promise it has an amazing ending. So let's dive right in, okay? After Jesus and his friends ate their special meal, they went to a garden. It was very cool and pleasant in the garden that night. Jesus went to the garden to pray. He was sad because he would soon die on the cross. He asked his friends to pray with him, but his friends were tired and they kept falling asleep. While his friends slept, Jesus went on praying. Twice, Jesus woke up his friends, and both times they fell asleep again. Then Jesus woke up his friends a third time. This time, there were soldiers coming into the garden. The soldiers were there to arrest him and take him away. Jesus' disciples were scared and sad. The soldiers took Jesus to their leaders. The leaders took Jesus to the governor and said, this man is bad and he must be killed. Their governor's name was Pilate. He had to decide if Jesus had done anything wrong. He asked Jesus lots of questions and found out that Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. Shall I let Jesus go, he asked. No, shouted the people. The leaders had lied about Jesus, so the people in the crowd were mad at him. Pilate was sad because he knew Jesus was a good man who hadn't done anything wrong, but he was afraid of the angry crowd. So he told the soldiers to take Jesus and put him on a cross. The soldiers were really mean to Jesus. They put a crown of thorns on his head and made him wear a robe. They made fun of him. They didn't believe he was a king. Then they put him on the cross. And when he was thirsty, they gave him sour vinegar. Ugh, gross. When Jesus was on the cross, some of the people, they loved him. But then there were some who didn't. The ones that loved Jesus knew that he hadn't done anything wrong. Jesus' friends took his body and laid it in a cave called a tomb. They cried when they did that. But guess what, boys and girls? Jesus didn't stay sad because something very special is about to happen. But I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. We're going to save that for our Sunday CM Easter special. I'm so excited to join you guys. I do want you to know if mom and dad, you want to continue the conversation about what we just read, you can ask, why did Jesus die? And what happened after Jesus died? For your reference, we're reading out of Mark 15, 25 through 38. Now, boys and girls, I want you to remember it's so much fun to have fun on Easter and to celebrate to pretend we're bunnies or to find eggs hidden in the yard, but there's a true meaning to Easter, and we're gonna dive deeper into that on Sunday, but we're gonna do that, and we're gonna mix in a little bit of fun. But I want you to do one thing for me on Sunday. I want you to wear your pajamas. We're gonna have a giant church-wide pajama party. I'm gonna be in my pajamas coming to your home, and we're gonna spend some special time together on Easter. Let me pray before I go. Father God, thank you for this time. God, thank you for sending your only son to die on the cross for us, God. And thank you that even as we ended the story here or paused the story where we did, God, our hearts may be a little bit sad, but we all know this has a happy ending. And Father God, I thank you for that happy ending. I thank you for the happy ending that is Jesus Christ, your son. We love you and we praise you and we can't wait to celebrate you on Sunday. In your precious name we pray, amen. Bye, boys and girls. I'll see you soon.